Half a day, students. I'm Josh Tenorio, your Lieutenant Governor. Thank you for being with us today and for taking the time to continue your learning with PBS University. I also want to thank your teachers and support staff at DOE and PBS Guam for their work and their commitment to you, our students. Si dus maasi, and we hope that you enjoy this PBS University instruction. PBS University is a program by PBS Guam and the Guam Department of Education in conjunction with public school teachers. These lessons are created to provide both parents and students with a unique educational experience while helping students to continue learning at home. PBS University, next on PBS Guam. One, two, three, four. Come along, let's sing a song. We'll have a great adventure. Today's the day. Learn and play, we'll have a great adventure. Numbers, letters, science things, all that we can do. Help you deal with how you feel, share with us too. It's super cool and just like school, our awesome learning adventures. So grab a friend, the fun will end, our awesome learning adventures. Awesome learning adventures with PBS University. Yakwe! Yakwe means hello and hi in Barshadiz. My name is Ms. Kirsten Rosario and welcome back to PBS University. Today I'm excited to teach you Family signs. Make the letter F, circle it up, family. Did you know that in American Sign Language, everything that's signed below your nose is considered female? And everything you sign above your nose is considered male? For example, take your open hand, number five, right? Take your thumb, put it on your chin, the sign is mom, below your nose, mom. Open hand, thumb on the forehead. The sign is dad or tata. Tata or dad. Take your open five, bounce it two times. And two. The sign is grandma. Grandma. Take your open hand, put your thumb on your forehead, bounce it twice. Papa. Grandpa. This is the sign for boy. You make the letter C, bring it out, close it up, boy. Make a letter A, swipe the side of your cheek, you can use either hand. The sign is girl, girl, boy, girls and boys. What do you think this sign is? You're right, the sign is baby. Take the sign for boy, put it together with baby. It's baby boy or son. Take the sign for girl, swipe the side of your cheek. It's daughter or baby girl. Take the sign for boy, the two letter L's put it on top of each other, and it looks like this. The sign is brother, or it can be seen sign like this, brother. Make a letter A, swipe the side of your cheek. The sign is sister. See that? Sister. Or make a letter L, sister, brother, sister. More signs, you say? Make a letter U, circle it above near your forehead. The sign is uncle. Make a letter A, circle it on the side of your cheek. The sign is auntie. Make a letter C. This is my favorite. Cousins. Cousin, that's a boy. Cousin, that's a girl. Usually your friends, your best friends. Hey friend, are you hungry? Yes. Food? Yes. Food? Yes. Yes. All right, yeah. Half a day. Let's learn food. Pineapple, pineapple. This is a sign for pineapple. Bananas, 
bananas. This is a sign for banana. Papaya, papaya. Soursop, soursop. So sour. The fruit is so sour. Avocado. This is a sign for avocado. Mango, mango. Hi, this is watermelon. This is a sign for watermelon. Sweet potato, sweet potato. Hi, are you guys ready for some story time? Today I brought a very special book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Can you sign that with me? Hungry Caterpillar. The Hungry Caterpillar is written by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon lay a little tiny egg that laid on a leaf. On Sunday morning, when the sun came up on the little leaf, on the little egg popped out a little tiny caterpillar. The caterpillar started looking for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three purple plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. On Friday, the caterpillar ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, ice cream, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one pizza. Was he still hungry? The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. See the leaf? Now he was not hungry. He was full. And the very little caterpillar was not little anymore. He was big and fat. He was a big fat caterpillar. The caterpillar built himself a cocoon and rolled it around. When he was ready, he pushed out the cocoon and he was a beautiful butterfly. Como tata? That also means thank you for signing with me in our story. Bye! Fast, fun, fast! Fast, fun, fast! Wow, there's so many flowers here at PBS University. Let's count them. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. What's the next one? Oh yeah, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and what's the last one? Do you remember? 10, correct, good job everybody. Oh, hi Mr. Ernest Ochoco. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here with our PBS friends. It's so good to see you. Uh, this is one of my students. This is Miss Maria Ann. She's part of the Gate Visual Performing Arts. Do you want to help me count? Yes, that would be awesome. Okay, let's go start. Okay, the butterflies, right? The butterflies. The butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten butterflies. Ten butterflies, awesome. Yay. Do you know how to say a number in Chukis? I do, actually. Cool, you wanna teach us? Mm -hmm. So to say number in Chukis, you say nampa. Nampa. Yes, nampa, you said it really well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's try it again, uh, but let's do the English version first. Mm -hmm. You go first. Okay. In English, it's number. Number. Let's break that up. Ready? Yeah. And start with num and fur. Number. number. And now in Chinese, it's numpa. Num. Num. And pa. pa. Numpa. Numpa. Good job, you guys. Good job. Hooray! Oh, I think it's time for our pre-K math class with Miss Leanne. Oh yeah, I love her. You ready? Yes. Let's go okay, to class. Let's go to class. Woohoo! Everyone. Welcome back to another episode of PBS University. I'm Miss Lizama. I'm your math teacher for today. You probably recognize me from my counting video. I hope you've been practicing because we are going to be using our counting skills for today. Today we are going to be counting oranges. Oranges are one of my favorite fruits. They are quite popular, even in Spain. <gasps> Do you want to learn something in Spanish today? Awesome! In Spain, everyone would say, Buenos dias. It means, good morning. Can you try it? Say, buenos dias. Great job, everyone! Oranges are also delicious fruit that you can eat in the morning. Oh, do you want to hear an orange joke? Why do oranges need sunblock? Well, I'm not going to tell you the answer until the end of our lesson, so stick around. Let's go over today's I can statement. Repeat after me. I can compare numbers. Great job, everyone. Now let's go ahead and get started. Let's review our counting skills. Ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everyone. That's our first ten numbers. Let's go over the next ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and lastly, 20. Great job, everyone. Looks like you've all been practicing your counting. That was a great review. Now, let's go ahead and start comparing our numbers. Since we are comparing numbers, let's take a look at bigger and smaller numbers. When we are counting, we would usually say smaller numbers come first, and a bigger number usually comes last. So, what is the first small number you see in this chart? That's right, number one, which means number one is the smallest number out of all of these numbers. Now, which one is the biggest number in this chart? What do you think? 
That's right, number 20, because number 20 comes last in this number chart, which means this is the biggest number. Another example of bigger and smaller number is if you compare two numbers in this chart, we would see which one would come first. So for example, if we have two numbers like number 6 and number 11, which one would be the smaller number? That's right, number six. Number six would be the smallest number because it comes first before number 11. Great job, you guys. Now that we have a better understanding of bigger and smaller numbers, we can now compare which oranges have more or less. When we say something has less, it means it has a smaller number. And when we say something has more, it means it has a bigger number. For example, let's look at this picture of the oranges. So we have two sides right here, okay? And they both have oranges. Let's count this oranges first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Good job! So this side has six oranges. Now what about this side right over here? Let's count it. One, two, three, four. Good. So these have four oranges. So we have our two numbers, six and four. Which one do you think have less oranges? That's correct. This one right here, this side has less oranges because it only has four. Four is the smaller number. So this side right over here would have more oranges because it has six. And six is the bigger number. Let's take a look at other examples. So we have two sides of oranges. Let's count this side first. So this side has one, two, three. So this has three oranges. Now what about this side right over here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has eight oranges. So we have our two numbers. We have three and then we have eight. Which side do you think has more oranges? Very good, this side, because this has eight oranges and this means that eight is the bigger number. Awesome job. Well, that is the end of my lesson. Oh, but before you go, do you remember my joke? Why do oranges need sunblock? Because they peel. Well, that is the end of my lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it and my joke. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of PBS University. Bye everyone. Oh, and don't forget, spread love, not germs. Bye. Swadika. That is how you say hello in Thai. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Lazama and I am your pre-K science teacher. Welcome to PBS University. Do you guys have a favorite toy? Well, at the end of this episode, I'm going to show you guys my favorite toy. So make sure you stick around. For today's episode, we're going to look at some objects in motion. Motion means moving. So we're going to look at how we can make these objects move. Some of these objects will move if we push it, pull it, twist it, roll it, and throw it. So, 
In order to make these objects move, we have to do either of these five things. Are we ready to go look at some objects and see if we can move it? Yes? Okay, let's go. The first object we're going to move is this ball. So with this ball, we can move it using four different skills. Can you guys guess how we can make this ball move? That's right. We can make this ball move with if we throw it, if we roll it, if we push it, and our lastly, we can make it move if we pull it. Great job, you guys. Phew, doing all that work has made me thirsty. So I would like to take a sip of water, but how can I get the water out of this bottle? Can we try rolling it? No. Can we try throwing it? No. Maybe if we pull the bottle? Nope, that's not gonna work either. Hmm, how can I get this water out of this bottle? <gasps> I have an idea. What if we twist the bottle cap to get the water out of the bottle? I'm twisting and now the cap is moving. The cap came out and now I can finally take a sip of this water. Thank you guys for helping me. Wow, guys, we were able to move two objects. Do you guys remember the objects we moved? That's right. We made the ball in motion by pushing, pulling, throwing, and rolling. Great job. And then lastly, with our last skill, we were able to twist the bottle cap in order to get it out of the bottle. Do you guys remember how at the very beginning of this episode, I asked you what your favorite toy is? Well, now I'm going to show you guys what my favorite toy is. Okay, well, my favorite toy is called a Boppet. This is a Boppet. In order to play this toy, I have to do three different skills that we just learned today. We have to twist, push, and pull. So we're gonna go ahead and try this toy. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm going to press this button. when I was supposed to pull it. But this is one of my favorite toys and I was able to use three of the skills that we learned. Can you guys name those three skills again? That's right. We were twisting, pulling, and pushing. Great job, you guys. And now what are those last two skills that we learned today? Hmm, that's right. The other skills that we learned were throwing and rolling. Great job. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. Please stay safe and remember that you can make a difference. Bye.
Hop a day, boys and girls. It's your friend, Miss Diane, and I'm back with more fun. Are you ready for some fun today? All right, let's go. Today, our diversity phrase is thank you. We're going to learn how to say thank you in Chukis. Remember the last word we learned in Chukis was please? Do you remember that word? Kose mo chen. Kose mo chen. Very good, boys and girls. Now today, we're going to add a special word that goes with please. Thank you. Are you ready? The word is kiriso. Kiriso. Hey, I, L, I, S, O, U. Kirisu. And that means thank you. When do you say thank you? How about when your mom makes you breakfast? Or maybe when you get candy from your friend? You can say thank you. Kirisu. Kirisu. Or how about when your mom and dad tuck you in at night and give you a kiss on the forehead? You can say, Kirisu, mom and dad, thank you. Here's a joke for you. What kind of bow cannot be tied? What kind of bow cannot be tied? Stick around, we'll have the answer later. Today, boys and girls, we're going to sing a song. Do you remember that word, song? O-N-G, song. And today, we're going to sing a song about all the colors in the rainbow. <laughs> Today's song is all about the rainbow. Rainbow is a big word. Can you say it? Oh, very good, boys and girls. And you'll notice when we look at the rainbow, look at all those colors. What colors do you see? Do you see red? Do you see yellow? How about green? Orange? Blue? Purple? That's my favorite color. Are you ready to sing the song, boys and girls? Remember our riddle, boys and girls? What kind of bow cannot be tied? Have you guessed? Did you try really hard? I bet you got a clue from what we just sang. That's right, boys and girls. What kind of bow cannot be tied? A rainbow, of course. Wonderful. Well done, everybody. Good job. Well, that's all the time I have for you today, boys and girls. I hope you had some fun. Did you have fun? Good, I had fun too. Let's say our diversity phrase again. 
Are you ready? Do you remember? It is thank you. Kitty Sue, Kitty Sue, thank you. All right, very good. And until next time, this is your friend, Miss Diane, saying bye-bye, everybody, and thanks for watching PBS University. Don't forget, boys and girls, smile and the world smiles with you. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>
so you can get ready for the day. But sometimes you can be irresponsible by going back to bed after hearing your alarm clock. Wake up! That's not responsible of you, sir. Another responsibility is taking out the trash and bringing it to the trash can, like what Mr. Javanel's doing here. Hmm, wonder what Mr. Javanel's doing now. He's gonna throw out the trash, but he's not putting it in the trash can. Sir, that is not very responsible. Wow, look at Mr. Javanel reading his book. Hmm, he's probably studying for a big, big test. That's very responsible of him. But sometimes we could get distracted and we could do the irresponsible thing by watching TV. Sir, that is not responsible. You have a big test tomorrow, sir. And we are back in our classroom. Oh my goodness, good thing I didn't mess that up by doing this. Oops. But remember, I have my lucky flower, so there you go. And that's how you create magic. So, kids, did you learn a lot today? You did? We learned about a lot of things. For example, we learned how to say, where is the bathroom in Palawan? Do you remember? You do? All right, let's say it together. Narker Avenjo. Great! And we learned about our special topic of the day. Brrr, responsibilities, which is to do good things to benefit yourself and others. What are some responsibilities that we talked about today? We talked about getting up from bed on time, um, throwing the trash, cleaning up your toys, and remember doing your homework instead of watching a lot of TV. Hmm, you know, I just realized something. I feel like I'm forgetting something. <gasps> oh, Mr. Javanel has some responsibilities to do. I need to walk my dog right now. And I'm gonna go play with Ellie the elephant. Well, don't worry kids. I will see you next time in this extra special fun character ed class with me, Mr. Javanel. I'll see you all later. Bye. <sighs> Here we go again. Let me do it again. Bye. There you go. Hey boys and girls, thank you for joining me. It's tomorrow time with Senora. I love kimchi. That's why I'm going to teach you how to say thank you in Korean. Kamsamida. Can you say that? Right, awesome. Kamsamida. And also in tomorrow it means Sizuus Maasi. Thank you in English and in Tagalog, salamat. Oh, yeah. You're saying salamat to senora? Well, salamat back to you and kamsamira. <gasps> what did I hear? The doorbell again? Half a day, senora. Oh, half a day, Mr. Ernest. Nice to have you back. Thanks for having me. So today I want to visit you because I brought a joke. I'm going to have two jokes. One in the beginning of your lesson and one at the end. <gasps> okay, I love jokes because I'm always happy. Okay, yes. what's your joke? You're, you're such a fun person. She's such a fun person. <laughs> okay, ready? It's a knock-knock joke. Oops. Okay, here we go. Knock-knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> Thank Don't you. you. Think that's a funny joke. I love that joke. I learned that when I was a little boy. Oh. Yeah. Boo-hoo. Boo. -hoo. <laughs> Boo.
<laughs> okay, everyone, since it's close to Halloween, I'm going to have another Halloween joke at the end of the lesson. Well, thank you. I have so much fun with you, Ernest. Thank You're you, Senora. You're always welcome. Come thank you. Come samida. Oh, that's thank you in Korean. Yes. Salamat. Salamat. Bye. Adios. Last time, we counted... One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Today, we're going to count seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So numbers is so important for all of us boys and girls. It helps us tell time. And our age and our birthday cake. Also, how much money we have in our bank account so we can travel. I love to travel. Do you like to travel? Remember when Senora showed you the scenery of Pompeii? Oh, I went to Pompeii and I ate a lot of crap. Also, you see bananas here, there, everywhere you go. Banana gives you potassium. Who likes bananas? Me. High five. Who likes crap? <gasps> Guahu! Me! High five! Awesome! Now we're ready to count the rest of our numbers. Remember? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, one, two, five. Now we're gonna do size, sheti, otsu, nuebi, diez. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, size, sheti, otsu, nuebi, diez. That's the numbers in Chamorro. And we're going to also learn how to count in the ancient way. Gunum, fiti, gualu, sigua, manu. Did I hear a doorbell again, boys and girls? I wonder who it is. Happy day, Senora. Oh my gosh, it's Mr. Ernest, our favorite hey. friend. How are you, Mr. And Senora and I are really good friends, and we're also in each other's bubbles, so we can actually like hug like that. Yeah, we're bubbles because we're, we're bubbles. Big. Right? We are. <laughs> we're big bubbles. We're fun, fun bubbles. Fun bubbles. <laughs> so, Senora, I heard that you're actually counting one through ten this time. Yes. Can you teach me how to speak? Uh, in regular tomorrow with 1 through 10? Sure. Okay. And even the boys and girls can help you. Okay. okay. All right. So, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. Size. Size. Sheti. Sheti. Otsu. Otsu. Nuebi. Nuebi. Yes! Yes! Yay! Got okay. it! And high five the kids. Boop. <laughs> that was like high ten because they're two hands. Okay. High ten. That was a high ten, kids. That's okay. We're having Our, fun. We're having so much fun. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do... Can we do ancient tomorrow? Ancient tomorrow. Are you ready, Mr. Ernie? I'm super ready. Okay. Get ready. Hatsa. Hatsa. Hugwa. Hugwa. Tulu. Tulu. Fat fat. Fat fat. Lima. Lima. Gunam. Gunam. Fiti. Fiti. Gualu. Gualu. Sigwa. Sigwa. Mana. Manuk. Oh, oh yeah. Not no, manuk. Not, not manuk. That's manuk not chicken. Chikruk. That's a chicken. <laughs> this one is ten. In ancient Timor, it says manut. Manut. Oh, with a T. Yes. With oh, it tea. sounded like chicken. Manut. Manut. Got yes. it. Got it. Manut. Manut. Did I say that right? Manut. Manut. Okay, here we go. Hatsa. Hugwa. What's next? Tulu. Tulu. Fat fat. Fat fat. Lima. Lima. Gunum. Gunum. Fiti. Fiti. Gualu. Gualu. Sigwa. Sigwa. Mana. Manut. Got another joke for you guys. Oh, I love your joke. Yes. yes. Oh. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. It's so not the knock knock joke. It's another knock knock oh, okay. joke. It's a different one though. Okay. You guys ready? Ready. Here we go. Knock knock. Who is there? Knock knock. Who is there? Knock knock. Who is there? 
Orange. Orange, you're glad you're here. <laughs> awesome. You're funny. And you are too, senora. Well, thank you for joining us, Mr. Ernest. Yes, and remember kids, Little, Little things, things can, can make, make big, big things, things happen. happen. Adios. Adios.